Kashmir has not only been blessed by nature, it has also the distinction of having a unique way of life that is a synthesis of a variety of cultures and religious influences. This cultural ethos is known as Kashmiriyat. Kashmiriyat, when experienced as a culture, inspires coexistence. Kashmiriyat, when perceived as a faith, is an amalgamation of four great traditions. Shaivism of Hindus, <laughs> Islamic mysticism called Sufism, <laughs> Buddhism's Nirvana, and Sikhism's Ek Omkar. Kashmiris refer to their land as Rishivar, the valley of Rishis and Sufi peers, who have had a significant impact on the evolution of a culture known worldwide as Kashmiriyat. Sufism was introduced in Kashmir in early 14th century with the arrival in the valley of a Muslim Sufi, Bulbul Shah from Turistan. His tomb is in downtown Srinagar. As more and more Muslim Sufis, known as Darveshas, came to Kashmir from Persia and Central Asia, Kashmir became a center of Sufism like Delhi and Ajmer. Kashmir abounds in dargahs and ziyarats, revered equally by Hindus and Muslims. The shrine of Baba Rishi, another highly revered Kashmiri saint near Gulmar is thronged by both Muslims and Hindus of the valley. He employed discourses, discussions, debates, revelations and miracles for the purpose. He initiated a new system, Rishiyat, bearing a strong impression of the country. 45 kilometers from Pahalgaon, Situated in a narrow gorge, at the farther end of Lida Valley is the Holy Amarnath Cave. Another example of Hindu-Muslim harmony in Kashmir. Legend has it that a Muslim from Balkot called Bhuta Malik discovered the Holy Cave nearly 5,000 years ago. He was given a sack of coal by a sadhu and upon reaching home, he discovered that the coal had turned into gold. Overjoyed, Malik rushed back to look for the sadhu and at the spot he had met the sadhu, Bhuta Malik discovered a cave. Not far away is the Kheer Bhavani temple at Tulmula. Situated 30 kilometers from Srinagar, the temple houses a spring and the idol of the mother goddess. The color of the water in the spring keeps on changing and according to the legend, when it turns black, it is considered a bad omen for the valley. At the foothill of Hari Parbat is situated the Gurdwara Chati Padshahi. The sixth Sikh Guru, Guru Hargobin Singh, traveled through Kashmir stopping to preach. A Gurdwara was built at the exact location of his each halt. The most important of them is this Gurdwara, Chati Pad Shahi, which is held in great reverence by Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs. Jammu, the winter capital of JNK, too has numerous shrines. The holiest shrines of Jammu region is the Vaishno Devi, located at an altitude of 5,200 feet, approximately 12 kilometers from Katra. Away from Vaishno Devi in the west is Shahadra Sharif, the famous shrine of Baba Ghulam Shah, 30 kilometers from Rajori. This shrine, considered a symbol of communal harmony, attracts Hindus, Muslims and Sikhs in large numbers, who come here to seek the blessings of the Peer. There are many other shrines dotted across the state of Jammu and Kashmir, 
which have stood as beacons of peace and humanity for centuries. They have had a deep impact on the social, religious and cultural life of the people.